Hey friends, today I want you to get ready for some extreme, incredibly satisfying cleaning motivation. This is an extreme whole house clean with me that took me two days. And when I say it's pretty extreme, it's very extreme. I clean my entire house all over. I am trying out new cleaning products and you're going to see me deep clean something that I have never ever deep cleaned before in my life. And when you see the before and the after, you are going to be shocked. Literally, as I was cleaning, I got a smell of something that smelled super rotten and I am glad I was able to deep clean this area. So stay tuned for some major cleaning and give me a thumbs up if you're ready to get up and get moving. This cleaning session was broken up into two days and then the first day of cleaning was done over an entire day because I have three small children so I'm not always able to clean for long periods of time at once but my husband did have all three kids this Saturday morning. He went to go visit his parents so I was able to just focus on getting some cleaning done, you know, getting some stuff done and not feeling like I was pulled in so many different directions and you can see we had quite the mess on our hands just daily messes but also some areas that really needed to be scrubbed and deep cleaned i am using a laundry basket downstairs as i clean up the stuff just to throw everything that needs to go upstairs into the basket i feel like i can clean up faster when i have that basket because i just throw everything that needs to go upstairs into that basket and it just goes a lot smoother Something I'm going to be deep cleaning today, which I'm really excited about, is I deep cleaned our couch. And you guys can tell how gross it was before we have crumbs and dried milk and a lot of stuff on here. And I am just ready to use our carpet shampooer deep cleaner to truly deep clean these couches. This has been a long time coming and something I've never done. And let me tell you, the smells that were coming out of this couch as I was cleaning it, it was so gross. And wait till you see the gross water that was pulled out from these couches after I cleaned it. Spoiler alert, you're not going to see me go long without cleaning these couches again. It was that traumatizing. I honestly feel super embarrassed when you see the stains and hear about the smells coming out of the couch when I was cleaning it, but I just want to show you real life messes. This is our life. I'm so excited to share with you the deep cleaning of my couches. I feel like I always show you cleaning my kitchen or my sink or my stove or me mopping, that type of stuff that you pretty much do every day or every week. So when I decided to clean my couches, I didn't realize how bad they were. And it's just so satisfying to see all of the dirty water after and knowing that my couches that we sit on every day are deep cleaned. And it's something I'm definitely going to be doing again. So stay tuned for some super, super satisfying cleaning coming up. And I can't wait to share with you what smelled so rotten as I was cleaning out my couch. Like 
I want to know where you guys are from, so go ahead, introduce yourself in the comment section and let me know where you live, where you're from. So I needed to scrub my stove, which it had been a little bit since I've really thoroughly cleaned the stove top. So I wiped it down with some of my Jaws degreaser, which by the way, if you want to try Jaws cleaning products out, I love them. You can use my code in the description to get 25% off. But I started out by using the kitchen degreaser and then I was going to scrub it with a couple of other products. But one of my favorite things to do when I have burnt on food or water or anything on the stove top, I like to use a magic eraser. And here you'll see me cutting them up and keeping them in a little container in my kitchen so I can easily grab one when I need to get some burnt stuff off of my stove. But typically for those small areas of the stove, I don't need a full magic eraser. So I cut them up to get more use out of them and keep the price a little bit lower. And then I can still utilize them whenever I need them. But I was gonna use them to scrub and get any burnt stuff off of my stove. And then I was gonna go in with a baking soda cream cleanser from Mrs. Myers. So this is kind of how I really, really deep clean my stove. To scrub my oven, I'm using Bon Ami. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've seen a couple other ladies here on YouTube use this cleaning product, specifically Amanda from This Crazy Life, and she always raves about it. So I definitely wanted to try it out when I found it at Target recently. So I used it in my oven and then I was going to use it to scrub my sink. And I'll tell you that I really, really enjoyed it. It's a powder cleanser and it's natural, but you can use it to scrub all over your house in so many different areas. So I'm gonna keep using it, but so far I really enjoy it. I'm also going to be sharing with you the amount that we, when I say we, it's you guys because you watched all of my ads from a video from a couple weeks ago, what we were able to donate to help fight systemic racism. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you what we were able to donate and what I was able to match.
here you guys see me making some of my diy cleaner it's just some rubbing alcohol dawn dish soap and water and as you can see here i am not particular or specific about the measurements i find it really isn't too important but just make sure you don't put in too much dish soap but a good rule of thumb if you're unsure i would do like a cup of rubbing alcohol a drop or two of dish soap and then the rest water in your spray bottle Here I'm using more of my Jaws cleaner. This is the Granite Cleaner, which is probably my favorite cleaner of all of theirs. But this one is just super nice because you can reuse the bottles and then you just buy the individual, they're kind of like pods for the cleaners when you run out. So you're using less bottles, less waste, and they also take up less space in your area. This is a cabinet right next to the twins high chairs and as you can see they touch it a lot or they get food all over and it's been a while since i wiped it down and really scrubbed it so i wanted to use some really really hot water and then some dawn dish soap to scrub that area and then i was going to scrub the baseboards and the walls behind their high chairs and sometimes when i have a lot of grease and sticky messes good old hot water in dawn dish soap seems to do the trick
Before I deep clean and steam clean the couches, I wanted to vacuum the outside and then under the cushions. And I'll admit, we have not been very careful with the kids eating or drinking on the couches, I guess more specifically Avery. We've had these couches for 10 years and we were just never serious with her and making her, I mean, she didn't eat a lot, but like she would have snacks out there. She would cup some milk or water or juice. And we do have plans on getting new furniture here really soon. And we're going to make a rule that they can only have water on the couches so this doesn't happen again. So that's why you see a lot of dust and dirt and milk stains all over the couch. It's so gross. I'm a little embarrassed. I keep saying that to show you this, but I guess it's just real life with kids. Okay, so now I need to clean the furniture and this is something that I have never done and we desperately need to do it. We've needed to do it for a while because of kids. And this is the machine. I bought this maybe a couple months ago and if you guys aren't new to my channel, then you know I've been using this like all over my house to clean my carpets and it is amazing. I'll have it linked below. It's super easy to use. And I feel like it's not cheap. Like it's like maybe $250. I got it at Kohl's with a coupon. Um, but I am telling you, totally worth it. The amount of times we've already used it in the past couple of months. And then now knowing I'm going to be cleaning my carpets. Sorry, my dog needed out. But now knowing I'm going to be cleaning the couches. Totally worth it. I love this machine. And I just can't wait to clean my carpets over and over again. So it's super easy to use. Um, you just, it like tells you right here. So water and then how much formula to put in. I have two different kinds. Um, you can get this just at like Target or Walmart. I have, then we also have this one that I've been using on the carpets. I think I just got this from Target. Um, but obviously you just fill it up, add it in the formula and then you put it in and that's it. Just put it in like that. And then if you're just using it, um, obviously you just use it like that. You can just turn it on. But I am using a hose. There's a couple different attachment hoses. Um, and this is the one that I'm gonna use today. So you just put it right in here. There you go. Was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. You struck me like lightning. You broke my chains and released me. And it's an end tonight. Okay, so this is an area in the couch that Avery always sits in. She has sat in that position on the couch since she was super little. So this is where a majority of the stains were. So I was really focusing on the arm of the couch and that cushion specifically. And I don't know if you just saw me kind of turn away really quickly, but as I was cleaning this area, the arm and the cushion, I kept getting like whiffs and smells of something rotten and I could not figure out what it was. I was alone in the house and my dog was outside. I thought it was in the machine at first, but it wasn't. And then it dawned on me that as I kept going, the rotten milk was coming up from the cushions. How gross is that? I am so embarrassed. But that's the honest truth. And it ended up going away as I started cleaning more and more. So the water from the machine that was getting into the cushions was bringing up some old milk that smelled rotten. Gross. Release me. Yeah, every day I will come running back. 
the same Everything has changed Every day 24-7 You call my name And I will come running Yeah, every day 24-7 Yeah, every day So in a perfect world, I would have done every square inch of the couch But this ended up being way more work than I had thought And they were way dirtier than I had expected took me way longer and I just had other stuff I needed to do so I decided to focus on the cushions and the armrests and then I'm going to go in again soon and do it all again and then get the other areas of the couches and I honestly feel like I'm going to have to do this a couple times before it's fully clean. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us before we got lost and we parted back to back we were carrying i am sick right now literally sick so i just started doing this cushion right here and this was this one and this one was by far the dirtiest that's where when one of us comes in to sit like if we're by herself we sit there avery sits here all of the time like that's her like that's her preferred spot to sit when she sits here and she has sippy cups of milk. She's had sippy cups of milk for years. And I started doing this cushion and I got a whiff of something rotten. Like I'm like, what does that smell? Like, and I'm like, uh, no one's down here with me. No one's around me except for, I thought maybe the dog, maybe it was the dog. So I look, no, the dog's outside. And I'm like, why does it smell so rotten? And then I kept going and the smell went away. So you know what the smell is? Embedded milk in the couch that was coming up from the cleaner. Like the water was pulling it up. That's what it was because this is where Avery sits. She'll set her sippy cup right here on the couch. And after I kept cleaning, the smell went away. Oh, I need to do this again. I need to do it again. Okay, I am done got this cushion really good and i got that one and let me tell you it's a workout i am tired and i didn't even get every square inch of every couch because I mean, i've obviously already been cleaning a lot today and i still have some stuff i need to finish up um but i'm gonna do this again so i feel like this was round one and i almost feel like i need to do it another time like soon to kind of almost like get it to be neutral or back to like clean and then I'll do upkeep after that. But you guys, I am so happy I did this and I'm also so happy that I did this before we got our new furniture because you better believe I'm gonna be adding this to probably my monthly cleaning routine, especially when you have kids, right? Now I understand that we've had this for, like I said, 10 years so dirt, dust, I mean, that's gonna happen, but even more of a reason to keep up with this, but, oh. and let me show you the dirty water. Ugh. Ugh. So yes, our pets do not get on the couches. Yeah, no pets get on our couches at all. So this is dust, dirt, who knows what else. How gross is that? This machine is amazing. It looks like chocolate milk. Like, doesn't it? Chocolate milk in there. It's like you expect your floors to be that dirty. But your couches? Well, if you like seeing this, guess what? It's gonna get added to my monthly cleaning routine. You'll see it a lot. Not a sound Sneaking out through your window Into the night Where we were meant to be Skipping town Searching for no This is what we waited for. No looking back. We started something I can never let go. I'm keeping you close to me. We don't need no sleep. And I know we will be alright. If only for tonight. If only for tonight. 
after I was done with the couches, I was going to go in and vacuum and mop down here on the main level before I was done for the day. And then the next day, I was going to clean the entire upstairs. So I've had many of you guys recommend using pine saw on my hardwood floors. I have never tried it, but it might be one of the most highly recommended cleaning products that I don't use. So I figured, why not try it? My Walmart was out of the regular scent, so I just got the lavender and I put it in my O Cedar Spin Mop, which I haven't used in a while and I forgot how much I love this mop. And I must say, I really, really enjoyed the Pine Sol. I think it did a pretty good job on my floors. And I typically use Bona hardwood floor cleaner, which that's probably like my number one hardwood floor cleaner. Or I really love the Method Almond wood floor cleaner as well. I still love both of those. And, but I think I'm gonna keep the pine salt in my rotation. Um, I'll keep using it, see if I continue to like it, but so far I really enjoy it. I think I like the smell a lot too. So I wanted to help with the Black Lives Matter movement and I, I wanted something, a way to be able to actually give back. So I decided to donate all of my AdSense revenue from a video that went up a couple weeks ago to the movement. And if you guys don't know, if you watch the entire ad that plays on my any video, if you watch the entire ad, you don't skip it, then I get more AdSense money. So basically, if you don't skip the ads, that means more money. So I had asked a lot of you guys to watch the entire ad on that video. And we, you guys, enabled me to be able to donate $104 to the official George Floyd GoFundMe. And then I decided to match it. And I rounded up to $105. And I wanted to donate that to The Conscious Kid, which is a nonprofit organization dedicated to reducing bias and promoting positive identity development and youth with organizations, children's museums, schools, and families across the country to promote access to children's books centering underrepresented and opposed groups. I guess it never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest from time to time Inside all that greatness in all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different So it was day two and I was planning on doing the rest of the upstairs and I started out in our master bathroom and you'll see me using the Jaws cleaning products which I've been using for I think since like February or March and I truly stand behind their products. And I think what I love most about their products especially recently is I can find them. You can order them offline and they are in stock, even the disinfectant. It's near impossible for me to find any bathroom cleaning products at our stores. Like I honestly, when you go into the bathroom cleaning product section, completely empty. And it's just frustrating that it's still like that. And it's just nice to know that during these times, I can still get Jaws cleaning products. I can still get disinfectant if I want to. So again, if you're interested, use my code and my link in the description. It's not... This is not sponsored or anything by them. I don't get a commission from this code. So 
25% off to save you some money and it just gets sent straight to your house. Everyone else who has tried them has told me they really, really like using them. And I encourage you, if you guys ever try a cleaning product I recommend, give me your feedback. I want to know what you guys think about it. I want to know. So if you're thinking about trying them out, definitely go ahead and try them out now, but use the code and save yourself some money. So after I was done with the girls' bathroom, I wanted to pop into Avery's room and pick everything up. The twins have been playing in her, her room a little bit. Obviously, Mike or I are in there with them because Avery has a lot of like little toys like Barbies and stuff. But Avery thinks it's fun to have her sisters in her room, which kind of makes me laugh because I, I'm wondering if she's still going to feel that way in another like six months or a year or even a couple of years down the road. But the twins had made a lot of the messes in her room. So I wanted to go in and clean all of that up. And then much later after the kids go to bed, Mike and I were going to fold laundry to kind of round out the chores for the day. Thank you so much for sticking around until the very end. You guys are amazing. I appreciate each and every one of you and I hope you know I truly mean that. Please say hi to me in the comment section. Let me know where you're from. Come find me on Instagram. Make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you next time.